Mini Hatch, R56 2006-2014 BMW introduced an all-new, second generation of the hardtop, hatch mini model in November 2006, on a re-engineered platform incorporating mini stylistic and engineering changes. It uses the Prince engine, the architecture of which is shared with PSA Peugeot Citroen and is designed to be more cost-effective and fuel-efficient, and is manufactured at the BMW Hams Hall engine plant in Warwickshire, Great Britain. The engineering was done in the United Kingdom by BMW Group UK Engineering, in Munich, Germany at BMW Group headquarters, and by other third parties, BMW Group hired Digital Design Juga Euro, IDG, in Turin, to coordinate the engineering, including the development and validation of the body, structure and chassis of the new Mini. Key production associates from affected areas in the assembly process at planned Oxford were seconded to IDG for the duration of the bill to ensure a smooth integration of the new model back in Oxford. Initially launched in the Cooper and Cooper S trim levels, the range was completed in 2007 with the MK2 Mini 1. An economical version called the first was added in 2009. From April 2007 a diesel was available badged as the Cooper D, which was supplemented in 2010 by the lower-powered 1D and in January 2011 with a new 2.0 liters diesel badged as the Cooper SD. The second generation was again offered in Japan at Japanese BMW locations February 24, 2007, and it continued to be in compliance with Japanese government dimension regulations which supported sales of both the hatchback and the convertible. The second generation convertible was unveiled at the Detroit Auto Show and the Geneva Motor Show as a 2009 model year vehicle, first available for sale on March 28, 2009. The model has a device, marketed as the Openometer, which records the number of minutes the vehicle has operated with its roof retracted. Though the MK2 has a familiar look, every panel on the new car was changed from the previous model. New safety requirements resulted in the overall length increasing by 60 mm n, the front end raised and the indicators being repositioned inside the headlight housings. The headlights themselves are now fixed to the front quarter panels rather than being integrated with the bonnet, so that they are not raised up with it when the bonnet opens. The car has a restyled grille and larger rear light clusters. The Cooper S retains the bonnet scoop in order to keep an association with the outgoing model, although the relocation of the intercooler to the front of the engine means that the scoop is now purely decorative. In addition, the Cooper S no longer has the battery located under the boot floor, instead being found in the more conventional location under the bonnet. The C-pillars are no longer encased in glass and have been shaped to improve aerodynamics and to reduce the tendency for dirt to accumulate on the back of the car. Much criticized for the lack of rear legroom, many added more space for rear passengers by creating sculpted cutouts in the rear of the front seats. An engine start button replaces the conventional ignition key and, with the optional comfort access, the car may be unlocked with a button on the door handle when the key is brought close to the car. The Cooper and Cooper S models offer a new rear axle and aluminium components to reduce the car's weight, and a sports kit option comprising harder springs, damper and anti-roll bars is offered with both variants. Another key difference is the introduction of an upgraded electric power steering system, the sharpness of which can be increased by pressing a sport button in front of the gear lever, both auto and manual. Additionally, the sport button adjusts the response of the accelerator and in conjunction with automatic transmission, also allows the engine to rev almost to the red line before changing gear. In the Cooper model, the W11 Tritec four-cylinder engine was replaced with a 120 PS, 88 kW, 1.6-liter Prince engine incorporating BMW's Valvetronic infinitely variable valve lift, developed on and with Peugeot's core engine. It has been reported in road tests that this takes the car from 0 to 100 km per hour in a claimed 9.1 seconds, 0 to 60 miles per hour, 8.5 seconds, and has a top speed of 201 km per hour, 125 miles per hour. Fuel economy of 48.7 miles per imperial gallon, 5.80 liters slash 100 km. 
40.6 miles per gallon US, on the combined cycle is nearly 8 miles per imperial gallon, 6.7 miles per gallon US, better. The more powerful 175 PS, 129 kilowatts, Cooper S replaces the supercharger with a new twin scroll turbocharger in 14 dock motor in the interests of efficiency, and has gasoline direct injection, consequently, this engine version does not have valve tronic. This engine also has an overboost function which temporarily raises the torque by 20 Nm, 15 lbf feet, under hard acceleration. As a result, 0 to 100 km per hour is covered in a claimed 7.1 seconds, 0 to 60 miles per hour, 6.7 seconds, and top speed is 230 km per hour, 140 miles per hour. It achieves similar improvements in fuel economy to the Cooper, returning 40.9 miles per gallon imp, 6.91 liters slash 100 kilometers, 34.1 miles per gallon US, combined. Both engines may be mated to either a 6-speed manual or automatic gearbox. The turbocharged engine is the same, although with some French engineering modifications, as the one in the Peugeot 207 TRC. In 2011 the Peugeot DV6, 4 DLD416, engine was replaced with the 1.6 and 2.0 BMW N47 diesels. All models of the MK2 with optional Dynamic Stability Control DSC, also include Hill Assist, which prevents the car from rolling backwards on an incline by holding the brakes for 2 seconds after the driver releases the brake pedal allowing the driver time to engage the accelerator pedal without the vehicle drifting. Also included with DSC is Hydraulic EBA, Emergency Brake Assist, as opposed to the mechanical system on minis without DSC. DSC is standard on all minis since September 2008. The interior of the MK2 echoes the style of the earlier model, but is in fact a complete redesign. The boot of the new car has an additional 10 liters, 2.2 amp gal, 2.6 US gal, of load space. Other changes in design, both visible and otherwise, have contributed to the Mini's recently awarded 5 stars in the Euro NCAP tests. One example is the higher front bonnet, which now complies with the European Pedestrian Collision Regulations. Breakdown statistics reported by the German Automobile Club, ADAC in May 2010 placed the Mini at the top of the small car class in respect of the low breakdown rates achieved for cars aged between 0 and 4 years, narrowly beating the Ford Fusion and Mitsubishi Colt. The MK2 range was launched with the 1, Cooper and Cooper S derivatives. In July 2009, a new budget version called Mini First was added. Similar to the 1, but lower output 1.6 liters engine 75 PS. 55 kilowatts, and no automatic option, it preempted the launch of the One Minimalism by including the many minimalism technologies. The vehicle launched with a base MSRP of 10,950. In January 2010 the Mini One Minimalism was announced, which was available in two states of tune depending on the market, 75 PS, 55 kilowatts, and 98 PS, 72 kilowatts. The model was marketed as a more environmentally friendly option with low 119 grams, 4.2 ounces, per kilometer carbon dioxide, CO2, helped by low resistance tires and flush wheel trims, and included the minimalism technologies previously excluded from the Mini 1. In spring 2011, a new diesel Mini Cooper SD was launched. With a new 4-cylinder 2.0 liters turbo diesel engine, it had an output of 145 PS, 107 kilowatts, and maximum torque of 305 Nm, 225 lbf feet, between 1750 and 2700 revolutions per minute. The Mini John Cooper Works Challenge is a purpose-built race car, based on the R56 hardtop, and manufactured in the BMW Motorsport factory located in Munich. The challenge was unveiled in 2007 at the Frankfurt Time Motor Show. The BMW Motorsport factory has been responsible for the construction of Formula One and European touring cars for many years. 
The R56 Challenge has a 6-speed manual transmission, 17-inch bore but wheels with Dunlop Control Slick Racing Tires, John Cooper Works Aerodynamic Kit including Front Splitter, Rear Diffuser, and High Downforce, Adjustable Rear Wing, Race Specific AP Racing ABS Braking System, KW Suspension Rebound, Height and Camber Adjustable Coil Over Suspension, Full Roll Cage. Rika Euro Bucket Seat with 6 Point Safety Belt, Hans Device, Sparco Racing Steering Wheel, Air Jack System, and a fully electronic fire extinguishing system. The car has a 1.6 liter, twin scroll turbocharged engine that produces 155 kilowatts, 211 PS, 208 horsepower, at 6,000 revolutions per minute, along with 261 Nm. 193 pounds feet of torque acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour 62 miles per hour is claimed at 6.1 seconds and braking time from 100 to 0 kilometers per hour is 3.1 seconds the car was used for events such as the Australian Mini Challenge as well as the events and championships in Britain Italy and Switzerland Robbie Davis won the 2013 Pirelli World Challenge. Loosely based on the John Cooper Works, JCW, Challenge car, these are essentially Cooper S vehicles with a higher output engine, a low back pressure exhaust system, a stiffer sport suspension, 17-inch light alloy rims with low profile, performance tires, Brembo performance brakes, and BMW's Dynamic Stability Control, DSC and Dynamic Traction Control System DTC, with Electronic Differential Lock Control EDLC, as standard equipment. All JCW models are only available with a specific Getrek 6-speed manual transmission, and come with distinctive John Cooper Works badging in place of the normal Cooper S badging. The JCW vehicles are also factory built which further distinguishes them from earlier MK2 Cooper S models with any of the available John Cooper Works accessories, engine and suspension upgrades, aerodynamics kit, etc., that are dealer installed. All JCW models achieve the same EPA fuel economy ratings as their Cooper S counterparts. The engine is rated at 211 PS, 155 kilowatts, 208 horsepower and 261 Nm, 193 pounds-feet, under heavy acceleration, the engine automatically boosts torque output to a peak of 279 Nm, 206 pounds-feet. These figures are achieved by reducing compression ratio to 10.0,1, and increasing boost from 0.9 bar, 13 pounds per square inch, to 1.3 bar, 19 pounds per square inch. When compared to the turbocharged engine used in the Cooper S according to many, the JCW hardtop will sprint to 97 km per hour, 60 miles per hour, in 6.2 seconds, with the JCW Clubman clocking in at 6.5 seconds, both vehicles top out at 237 km per hour, 147 miles per hour. The JCW variants were unveiled in 2008 at the Geneva Auto Show as 2009 model year vehicles. Seven cars were entered into the 2011 24 hours of Nürburgring, coming fourth in class and 34th overall. In 2012, Team Partle Motorsport finished in second place in its class with their Endurance Mini, finishing in a strong 41st place overall. The BMW Mini Rally Cross Championship, a one-make series, was a support category for the British Rally Cross Championship 